Hey Libra loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, this is going to be your February 2022 reading, okay? We're just going to pull some energy, see what's going on for you this month. I've been recently restructuring my channel, so I put out like three readings a week. They're usually for all signs. Um, I do a general energy timestamp one at the end of the week you can check out. But I do soul contract readings, I do soulmate check-ins, every full moon I do a shadow work video. So we're all about healing on this channel, okay? If the message resonates with you today, please feel free to like, comment below, leave feedback, let me know if it resonates. I love hearing from you, okay? And it helps other Libras find the video as well. With that said, I want to start off with letting you guys uh, in on the oracles I pulled for you, okay? For the Divine Feminine Oracle cards, I pulled uh, Love is My Lineage and Gratitude is My Religion, okay? So all about love, being grateful for what we have to attract more of it, right? And Romance Angel Oracle cards, we have Forgiving and Learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment along with make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you feel guided to take. Okay, so there may be something coming up here, right, where a person pops in from your past. It could be romantic. It might not be, right? It just might be an old friend, a family member, whoever. Definitely someone you have a spiritual tie, though, with. I'm very drawn to the fact that um, it's two children. It's very pure. It's very innocent, right? I feel like there's a conversation that needs to be had between two inner childs, okay? Um, some type of conflict maybe, just with the forgiving and learning card, okay? Embracing the Empress energy coming from a place of love, okay? Um, I want to read to you your Starseed Oracle, okay? We have Hyrith, which is longing for home and homesick for the stars. I'm actually not going to read the whole thing, but this is all about, and we all go through this, guys feeling that void from within, right? Something's missing. I'm not home. Some people, I mean, the book kind of goes into it, but it's like some people travel the world forever looking for a home, right? Some people use people to try to find a home to make that out of, okay? Um, it's all about a journey to find somewhere where you truly belong, okay? If this resonates with you, you're yearning for a home, but you don't really know where home is, you're being invited to remember that your soul chose to be on earth, okay? The soul contract reading may be uh, good for you guys to check out, but you're being called to fully commit to embodying your life. You're being reassured that you didn't come here alone and that your soul consciously decided to experience what it's like to be a soul in human body on this planet at the time, at this time. You're being called to anchor all of your presence and your personality, your soul, and your spirit in the here and now to fully commit to living this life right now, to commit to putting two feet completely in. So we're not running away from anything, right? Life is very short, okay? We're here to make the best of it. We're here to grow. So with that said, let's see what comes out, and then I will do a Zodiac check-in for you guys at the end, okay? Show me what I need to see for Libra, please. Show me what I need to see for Libra for February. Having the courage to go forward, that's for sure. Ace of Wands in reverse, Four of Wands in reverse, Five of Coins in reverse, Seven of Wands being at the bottom of the deck here, okay? Having courage, having the strength, feeling determined, maybe even laying down some boundaries, putting yourself first, okay? That's the underlying energy of what this is going to require. I see that you've been struggling, Libra, okay, with this five of coins. I love to see it, that it's in the reverse because that wheel is turning, okay? It's not forever. It is time for you to come out of that. This is time for your recovery, okay? This could have been poverty, okay, a financial struggle. It also could have been heartbreak. We'll talk about that in a second, okay? The loss of a job, poor mental health, okay? Maybe an actual loss through death, right? We are just coming out of the Mercury retrograde season. There was a lot of bumpy stuff that took place there, but this is time for, again, recovery, connection. Okay, the Four of Wands in reverse here with the Ace of Wands in reverse. Leo Sag Aries energy. We're having a hard time closing this chapter, transitioning to the next level, the next chapter, next step. 
it may be hard to feel inspired right now, okay, or know where to go just because of what you've been through, right? I want to know more about this, actually. There's a lot of anxiety here. Tell me about this five of coins in the reverse. The empress in the reverse. There's your energy, Libra. Knight of wands, more fire energy, four of coins in the reverse. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. King of coins on the bottom of the deck, okay? Mm. We followed our desires. We followed what we wanted. We may have been attracted, really inspired in the past, aroused, thought we were in love, okay? We gave more than we should have, okay? We gave more than what was in our bank account, whether again, this is an actual money reference, our energetic bank account, okay? We felt passionate as fuck, but I did in a video on the Empress in the Reverse. I will try to remember to link it for you guys, okay? Let me turn this up so you can just get the picture. I highly suggest that you watch that. It's in the Timeless playlist, okay? This came from a place of attachment, okay? What I just talked to you about with the Starseed Oracle, right? Making a home in other places, situations. That's exactly what the Empress is in the Reverse, okay? That's conditional love. You're meant for unconditional, okay? There is a skill here that you can learn to meet people where they are and it doesn't tear you the fuck up, right? Because you're, you're so engulfed with your, <laughs> your essence, your being, your purpose, okay? That's what's supposed to ignite you. It's not a, nine of, a knight of wands. It'll be a king of wands, okay? When it's your purpose. Yeah, with the four of coins in the reverse, I just really see that you move towards something maybe sooner than you should have. You tried to rush something. You made an impulsive decision. <clears throat> uh, there's even like an energy of like gambling something, okay? But maybe that was just taking a gamble on a person. And that's what has put you in the dark. But it's time to come out of that. Wow, look at that. Five of swords in reverse with the ace of wands in the reverse. We're getting double messages here. Something really may have been impulsive that took place. Mm, like not a lot of forethought was put into this, guys. I have to emphasize that, okay? I do want to move on from that and clarify these other two cards, but there's a level of accountability, okay? Tell me about the Ace of Wands in the reverse. It's come out twice. The Six of Swords in the reverse. The Temperance in the reverse. The Page of Coins. Sagittarius, Earth, Air, Energy. The Seven of Swords is at the bottom of the deck, okay? Something was built on a false premises. A lie you were telling yourself, a lie someone else told you, okay? But it's like you can't let this idea go. You keep wanting, I don't know if you are or what, it might be a little bit where you're still investing, okay? Even if that's just like occupying <laughs> your mind space with it. Investing, I don't know, small things financially into this situation. But temperance in reverse is showing me this is out of balance. This isn't for you. This isn't divine. This isn't alignment. This is fear. This is panic. This is the empress in the reverse. This is because we don't want to see the truth. Tell me about the four of wands in the reverse. What is this failure to transition? No commitment, not getting anywhere, not making any headway. Ten of swords in reverse, queen of coins in reverse, nine of swords, wow. Yeah, there's a lot of anxiety. You were betrayed. Whether you feel like you did this to yourself, right? Like, I can't believe I did this, right? I can't believe I ended up here. How could I be so stupid, right? or you feel like someone really betrayed you, regardless, it's a nightmare. I see it. It's been a nightmare. It's like, I don't know how to let this go. But what do you mean it's not gonna work out? Yes, it is. This is what I was planning on. I know. What else do I need to know about this spirit, please? There needs to be a... Um, some mm, 
introspection, discovery on how much you give to a situation, right? And what you get from it, okay? Making sure you water something and it waters you right back. The Fool, Aries energy, Diviner of Coins in Reverse, Three of Wands. Yeah, you're trying to make plans for the future, okay? But you're in this overwhelmed, burnt out state. You know that things can't go like this. There's a recognition of that, okay? But there's a lot of pain. It's like, I know I need to move on, but it's like, I'll do it after this. Or it's like, yeah, I just don't feel like really doing what I need to today. Be careful of that. There's never going to be a perfect moment, okay? There's a need here to just do the thing, whatever that means, okay? This energy here needs to be balanced. You don't want to lose the progress that you're building, okay? Everything doesn't have to crumble here. Three of Wands. Yeah, look at this repeating messages. The synchrony, guys. Every reading I've done has a very synchronistic feel to it. You just really are telling yourself, and it's probably survival mode, so be really kind to yourself here. But it's just like, yeah, in the future, things will be better. Yeah, if I just like get through today and I just do what I need to do, it's going to get better. Like Things will get better. But nothing's being done to make it better, okay? Yeah, exactly. Bottom of the deck, eight of coins in reverse. Something has to be different in your routine, okay? You want different, you have to act different. I've said this a bunch of times in uh, my readings, but the definition of insanity is repeating the same thing over and over, expecting different results, right? Um, hmm. Where do I want to go with this? What else does Libra need to know? Just whatever they need to know, Spirit. Son of Cups. You need to be vulnerable and very present with your emotions, okay? There may be a gesture coming in, okay? And we saw that. I picked up on it when I pulled this Forgiving and Learning. I'm telling you, there's some type of conflict, okay? And we saw it with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Somebody may want to apologize or you may feel like you owe someone an apology, Tell me more about this. The Hermit in the reverse. Virgo energy. Somebody's coming out of withdrawal, you guys. They may feel still a little bit confused, but they definitely had to take a break or you took a break. Eight of Cups. Somebody from the past. Somebody you walked away from or they walked away from you. There's, yeah. Tell me more about this. The Hangman in the reverse. Pisces energy. There needs to be a different understanding about why this went down. About why somebody had to walk away. There's more to this. There's really deep layers. Tell me more about the hangman, please. Sage of coins. Mm -hmm. Justice is at the bottom. This situation, I know you don't feel it. Like, I literally don't even want to say this because I'm, I can feel the eye roll, like, energetically from you, Libra. <laughs> but this situation is going to bring in better, okay? The Sage of Coins, it's going to bring in stability. It's going to bring in abundance. Remember, your first three cards, I saw the suffering energy, but I told you, the wheel was turning. When you understand something, someone else's point of view why things had to happen the way they did it's like this gift of wisdom that just balances everything that's heavy out it's like freedom which means it may be something deep inner healing work let's see tell me more about the hang one hmm. yeah i mean justice being the shadow card it's just like okay i get it six of cups there it is you have to connect with your inner child that's why the knight of cups was saying you have to be present with that vulnerability with the emotions that are coming up even if they're icky and uncomfortable i just said this to virgo if you're dealing with a virgo or have that in your chart you may want to go check that out this has to do with a soulmate connection absolutely but it has to do with your own fucking soul okay remember we're embracing the energy of forgiveness we're embracing the energy of gratitude of love maybe we need to be grateful for the experience you went um 
you went through, even if it was devastating, even if you were betrayed, it's teaching you something on a soul level, okay? Remember what I was saying to you, looking for this place of home. You're building stability within yourself. You didn't need to make it within or someone else, okay? That might be part of the forgiveness that I was picking up earlier, that self-forgiveness, right? Inner child work, apologizing to your inner child for not keeping them safe, for looking for a, someone or a place outside of yourself to feel stable, to feel safe within, okay? The Sage of Coins was pulled. The second you have a different per perspective, what happens? Stability, abundance, freedom of the mind, right? You don't need to make a home anywhere else, within anyone else, Libra. Strength in reverse. Again, it's a lot of raw emotion, okay? Might be a lot of childhood trauma shit with the Six of Cups. Strength in reverse. Nostalgia, right? But like I told Virgo, these skeletons need to come out so that we can truly release them. We don't have to, all right, we're moving. We're looking for a new home. Pack up. Don't let anyone see you. Fuck that. You're moving out. Skeletons are staying. Ooh, can someone remind me to make that the title? Five of Wands in reverse, exactly. And so not only, okay, does this provide the feeling of stability, but it provides you the strength, the ability to disengage from conflict that may have been a struggle with you uh, guys, okay? Or someone's words could really affect you, right? Like they would never know it, I'm sure, right? But late at night, you're like thinking about this. Like, oh my God, is that true? Fuck that. You don't need anyone's reassurance anymore. That's dope. Okay, Libra? This has such a Virgo feel to it. Oh my God. Um, all right. So let's check in with career. Then we'll check in with love. Then I'll pull in some advice. Diviner of Cups. Yes. Just be in the Queen of Cups energy, you guys. Okay? Love, right? Empathy forgiveness your cup is so fucking full it water it waters overflowing it effortlessly nourishes some uh, other people it doesn't matter what they've got going on okay career for libra please libra libra The world in the reverse, the two of coins in the reverse. Listen, if you guys are experiencing money issues, a block, it's because something isn't changing here. There's not room for this newness, okay? You may be too stuck in survival mode. Um, we're not balancing something. Something's not getting enough attention. You may be, maybe you don't have enough help, okay? You guys may need to ask for help or take a mental health day, right? Realign your priorities. Remember, I was talking earlier, changing up that routine. Okay. Mm. I know it's confusing. The moon just fell out. I feel like it's confusing because it's just like, well, this is everything I ever thought about. So I haven't, I don't know. You know, I haven't considered anything else. But Spirit's telling you, take the time. Okay. Take this block as a sign to consider something else. Okay. A different path. What else about career? Two of Wands, exactly. Yeah. Spirit just really wants you guys to focus on preparation, brainstorming, okay? There may be a creative outlet, an idea. I don't know. You need to think, though, very heavily about whatever you're doing in your career, okay? So it doesn't end up in regret, okay? For love. Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's that betrayal. The Ten of Coins in the reverse. And the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, you just feel like you... you mm. <laughs> this month, work on healing. Okay? Because in love, you're just like, hands up in the air. Right? Like, I give up. Wave the white flag. I've been so fucked in love before. I'm not interested. It's not for me. I invested everything I had and it didn't work out with this ton of coins in reverse. You could have had a family with somebody, okay? Absolutely, I see it. Your advice is to just be present with those uncomfortable thoughts, uncomfortable feelings, okay? Work through them. Find solutions, ways out, right? That's just hurt. That's just pain. 
Anything else for love for Libra? Seven of Cups, you're going to have lots of options. That's why it's so critical and crucial to decide what it is that you want. As the Sage of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Okay? What is it going to take for you to feel fulfilled, Libra? It's okay to not be able to answer that. If you could, you, we wouldn't be here right now. Take February to answer that. Okay? Advice for you guys. And then I'll do the Zodiac. Um, okay, we have the Emperor. Hell yeah, Aries energy showing up. Boss mode time. Boss the fuck up. <laughs> You've learned a lot on this Ten of Sword journey, my Libra. Okay, it's wisdom. It can help you close the cycle and start a new one that doesn't have to go to shit. Okay, because you're not searching for stability or that feeling of yeah, just stability, a home outside of yourself, okay? What else with this emperor energy? It's important to stay grounded here, okay? Be very practical as well, okay? What have you learned? How can this guide you, okay? Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Boss mode up. There may be some bad karma playing out, you guys, okay? Maybe that's part of what you have to understand. Like, why does this keep happening? Well... There's a reason for it. The divine's telling me there's a reason for it. Have the strength to look at what has not worked out before. To face it. To look at those skeletons, okay? The moon in the reverse. All will be revealed. The veil's gonna be lifted. You're gonna know. You're gonna know exactly why your bubble was bursted, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you. You're gonna understand deeply why all this had to happen. And I really feel, okay that the a huge part of the answer is to make that foundation and stability and home within yourself okay you were like a lost hurt child searching outside of yourself for it you have learned the lessons enough to move on and close these cycles to end this karma like i said the veil has been lifted my loves heavy heavy I'm actually not, I can't leave it like that. I need to clarify this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. I need to know Four of Swords. Yeah, so good news. The universe doesn't have like this plan to like blow up your life, okay? And it's not like bad karma has to keep playing out, but it's just like expect balance. If you keep avoiding the lesson, the universe is gonna keep reminding you that you haven't learned the lesson. When you choose to learn, expect that wheel to turn. I told you that in the beginning. That's exactly what spirit is telling me, okay? It's not like you have this, like, book, novel worth of karma that still has to play out. No, no, no. Tit for tat, kind of, is what it's coming through as, okay? Yeah. <laughs> the fool and ace of coins in the reverse. Hello? Take a leap of faith at what you're scared to. Stop rejecting it. <laughs> okay? That's what that's saying. Uh, so that's your advice, Libra. Let's do the Zodiac check-in. Spirit makes me laugh, you guys. It's really comforting. That's why I love what I do so much, for real. And I have a Libra moon, so I'm like, I hope Spirit's not telling me to give this up, because no. <laughs> okay, if you're dealing with an Aries, they may have been confused about what they wanted to say. Justice in the reverse, there it is. Okay, they're not happy. They don't like what's going on. They feel like they got the short end of the stick. Aries is not having it this month. Taurus, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. It's their energy there. <sighs> okay, Taurus is in retrograde. <laughs> well, it's usually slow moving. It's just like not. Okay, Taurus is having kind of like a hangman moment. They could be having money issues. Questioning a lot, okay? Gemini the world cycle is changing with the gemini maybe one's leaving your life maybe one's coming uh into it maybe you're going to travel to go see one i don't know but that's what it's showing cancer temperance patience also you guys are in alignment okay so even if it's like something's put on hold or whatever it's you're good okay you're in alignment Okay, remember also that angels are with you. If you have anyone on the other side that 
was or is a cancer okay consider this a direct message the lovers just fell out right on top of that live by your values okay leo the tower in the reverse leo's avoiding something here libra and i'm tattling they know something needs to change but they're they don't want to okay or they feel like they can fix it that's true for some as well too my number oh, my foot's going numb this happened on the last one oh no no okay I'm really sorry. Virgo, if you're dealing with a Virgo. Seven of Cups in the reverse. They've made a decision, okay? So either they had a lot of options and now you're their only option or they chose something else, okay? Take it how it resonates. Uh, if you're dealing with another Libra, we have Ace of Swords. Ooh, you guys are communicating real honest this week. That's your energy. Clarity, truth. Those don't want to go together. Scorpio, if you're dealing with a Scorpio. The Fool, leap of faith towards a Scorpio. New beginning, okay? Somebody could be coming towards you with Scorpio on the chart. Sagittarius, if you're dealing with a Sag, we have the King of Coins. Abundance, yes, yes, yes. Stability. Uh, I also just got a weird thing that they may give you a loan. I don't know, but if you guys are like co-workers or working together, awesome month for you guys, okay? Mm. Okay, uh, where are we? Capricorn? If you're dealing with a Capricorn, we have the star in the reverse. Somebody feels like they don't know if this is what they want anymore or they're not getting what they want. Maybe having a test of faith in you, like little faith in you, you know, or you can have little faith in them. Take it how it resonates. Aquarius, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, we have the page of cups in the reverse. Someone doesn't want to say sorry. Someone doesn't feel like they should say sorry. Someone's stopping communication. Yuck. Pisces. Nine of coins, independent energy, pre-empress energy, working hard, okay? Setting themselves up. If that's in work, it's awesome, okay? If it's in a relationship, they may just seem kind of like to themselves or standoffish, but I don't see it as a bad thing, just focused, okay? So with that said, I hope it was helpful. If this video was helpful, please like it, comment down below, subscribe. If you like a personal or shadow work coaching sessions, you can find my email in the description box below. Otherwise, have a good day on purpose and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.